Hi folks, for any who don't know me already, uh, my name is Ross and I'm the rector of St John's Orangefield Church of Ireland here in East Belfast. We've been working hard over the last couple of weeks uh, putting various things in place as we adapt to a different way of doing church over this season when we're unable to meet face to face. Our priority has been identifying those we think are most vulnerable in our church family and are arranging for a pastoral care team to keep in regular touch with these people, offering pastoral and more practical support as necessary. If you know someone in the church family or if you yourself would like this regular follow up, please let me know. Or if you're someone who is in the less vulnerable category of people who could be a support to others in our community and are willing to help, please do get in touch. Next, we've been reimagining how we do church together. Please watch what Eva has to say about opportunities with youth, children and uh, families. But in addition to this, each Sunday evening at 6.30 p.m. and Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. we'll be uploading to Facebook an act of worship based on our Rich Church of Ireland prayer book and including some reflection on a Bible passage. Can I encourage you, if at all possible, to watch these uh, services at these times so that there's a sense of us meeting together virtually. We'll also be holding a virtual Bible study and a virtual coffee uh, time each week and a virtual prayer meeting every fortnight, details to follow. The two services will be uploaded to Facebook and the interactive gatherings, we'll be using the Zoom platform. Don't worry, we'll give you details for how you can set Zoom up uh, in your context and plug into what's going on. And then thirdly, we will be uploading to our website a raft of different resources, including podcasts, YouTube channels, apps and so on, just to help us uh, bolster our spiritual life. So please do keep an eye out for these and make use of them. During this season, the church Facebook page will be our primary means of communication. So please like the St John's Orangefield page, turn on notifications and prioritise St John's on your newsfeed settings so that you'll be made aware of any new information as it becomes available. I'm aware that there are some in our church family who'll struggle with the technical side of things. So if you're in touch by phone with others in the church who are in this category, please could you help them with setting up Facebook, for example, um, or in other ways, give them technical help. I'll be writing and posting a letter to all church members, setting out this information and other information in a bid to make sure that no one is left out of the loop. With this in mind then, can I appeal to you all to be intentional about connecting with each other by phone and by social messaging platforms during this period. Don't assume that someone else is doing it. Just get in touch, lift the phone, say hello. Let's be deliberate about looking out for each other and let's be deliberate about looking to God. As the psalmist reminds us, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. As we learn together how to be church in new ways, I look forward to seeing you and sharing with each of you in the coming weeks in new ways. God bless you and God keep you. See you soon.